It book keeps time. We have different times. When I get up and move, if you're standing still, I decouple from our frame of reference. And now it's, I mean, it's like 10 to the negative 35 seconds, right? It doesn't yeah. make a difference. But just the fact that I'm moving, we decouple from the same from the same uh, time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I even had, <clears throat> I thought of something similar to that um, when I was locked up and I was thinking about the circadian rhythms of your cells and I was thinking about like changing like how healthy you are and the vibration of your cells and the atoms in your body and I'm like well are, are we processing time differently mm. and then is that similar to how you know as above so below equal in nature different in degree is that similar to how uh, someone is traveling at light speed versus someone that's not even though they're drastically different because we're both traveling at a similar speed like you said it's not like we've totally decoupled and one's traveling at light speed and the other one isn't mm -hmm. but i thought of that and i'm like do we alter our space-time continuum by changing our uh frame of mind mm. and our biology and the frequency of our biology well yeah by changing the frequency you would think that that would if you could prove that you've changed that frequency then yeah, you would think that you are now aging differently than the individuals around you. This is just, you know, now we're in, we're in theory zone, yes. but think about the electrons on your body. They're moving. You have components of your body that are moving at different speeds. Mm. So you have technically those different components are aging differently. Yes. Right. They, they're, well, they're experiencing different frames of reference, different yes. time frames. And even we can look at it from a biological standpoint, which might not have anything to do with it. It might have something to do with it, but I don't know to what degree. But the fact that let's say if you're thinking in a healthier mindset versus a less healthy mindset where one is less stressed and more stressed and one is less traumatized and more traumatized or, you know, one is producing uh, more healthy biochemical reactions and then one is producing less and then one's health is deteriorating less rapidly the mm -hmm. telomere length is shortening less rapidly and the other ones is shortening more rapidly yeah and you know what i mean or yeah like I mean, when you go to sleep and you're sleeping and then you have a dream that lasts a year but it's only been an hour or two yeah. you know what i mean like yeah those are definitely i mean you know we can speculate on that and i do think that we know that with biology when you're feeling i think dopamine time goes by faster mm. but when there's a lack of dopamine time seems to drag on yes and you know that's perspective yes but I mean, what isn't kind of perspective? Yes, because it's not like the same time frame isn't going on. It's not like one was in an airplane and, and right. the clock was ticking slower. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, yeah. but at the same time, yeah, perspective and then the perspective of time. And then so you have like the actual tangibility of time and the relativity of that tangibility based upon where the location is, is closer to gravity or further from gravity. And then the perspective within that, mm -hmm. that's uh, I don't know, I think that's interesting. It is, it's, it's very interesting. Light, physics, and this is why I've been preaching this. This is why we both preach it. Physics is so supernatural, but it's natural mm -hmm. in the sense of the word. But when you think about what's happening, when I learned about special relativity, my mind was blown. <laughs> Right. And you got, I got all these people around me. They're just like, yep. Crunching the numbers. It's like, <laughs> are you serious right now? The implications of this is just too much to even take in. I was about to go home. Yeah, I'm, I'm going home, man. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Yeah, I'm not ready for this. But you know, I, I think a lot of people in the scientific community numb themselves to it. Mm -hmm. So they don't end up seeing this yes. kind of side. That's just all inspiring. 